We are off to Milan now, where the locals are known for their incredible sense of style. Architect Giovanna Cornelio is no exception. Her apartment in Milan stretches over three floors and 280 square meters. Now, at first glance, the building seems unspectacular, but as the saying goes, never judge a book by its cover. This is Milan's Porta Ticinese district. It's home to many historic buildings. But some of the streets have drab architecture dating from the 1950s. Even so, Giovanna Cornelio still wanted to move into the eighth floor of this building. She transformed it into a luxurious living space. Nice to meet you. Come in, my own. Inside, it's anything but dull and dreary. The open plan living room is flooded with light. Cornelio turned two apartments into one and now has 280 square meters of floor space. I chose this house because of the light, because of the terrace, and I decided to draw the space according to the light during the day. And so every room has a different view outside and a different proportion with the light. Giovanna Cornelio loves 50s era design. These eye-catching chairs are upholstered with fabric used to cover old train seats. And this Jean Prouvé swing arm lamp is also a design classic from 1950, as is the couch. You can use it from this side or you can sit on the other side and look into the direction or to have a sort of day bed. The architect designed some of the furniture herself, including this oversized couch and the shelving units across from it. The kitchen is located on the same floor. Cornelio employed plenty of stainless steel to make her kitchen durable and functional with just a splash of colour. A simple design but with strong materials to use every day. The architect has a 13-year-old daughter and enjoys entertaining friends across from the kitchen. This is uh, our uh, dining space with this table from the 50s drawn by Osvaldo Borsani. And the chairs are from the same years. A narrow staircase integrated into the shelving unit leads up to the ninth floor. This used to be a windowless room that was used as storage space. Cornelio replaced the concrete walls with glass, converting the room into a studio. Very special place where to stay um, during the weekend or in the evening to look at film or to work and because it's a completely isolated box and you can't imagine to be in a town. The studio is almost completely encircled by an 80 square meter U-shaped terrace. You can stay here uh, reading, working, working with plants. And it's like to be in holidays. From the terrace you can get to the 10th floor, which the architect also designed herself. She calls it her sun deck. When I built the glass house, I decided to have a roof to use. It's a particular view of the town you never have. You feel completely free and you forget what you have to do. <laughs> Looking out from Milan from here puts the building some considered eyesores into a whole new light.